Good morning to you, and it is Thursday. Thank you for those of you that have joined us for the entire week. This is the final devotional for the week, unless God says otherwise. But today, uh, this week rather, we've been talking about improving ourselves. We've been talking about being uh, 1% better than we was on yesterday. And the reason why I'm stressing that and will be stressing that uh, for the, the, the foreseeable future, at least, if it be God's will, is that it's, I feel like it's very important now, more than ever, very important now, more than ever, for the, the, the new saints, for the ones who are just joining the church, the ones that are just coming to Christ, more importantly, and the ones who have been in Christ for a long time, because the, the new saints and the new people that are coming to Christ, uh, they need this uh, information in their lives because this is this is the key element of church being in Christ Jesus believing Christ Jesus believing God and who he is the creator sustainer of heaven and earth and and we need to we need to instill this information in early you know the, the praise the, the shouting and and you know the the calisthenics of church you know, they may kick in early, uh, later rather, they may kick in early, who knows. But my focus and my job is to getting people to live right. And once you start living right, to be better at living right. I hope that makes sense. And then for the seasoned saints, I have to make sure as a leader that uh, we don't become complacent, comfortable and satisfied with where we are but continue to push one another, continue to push one another to uh, even being better than we are now. As long as we're in this earth, every day that God wakes us up, it's an opportunity to draw closer to him, it's an opportunity to know more of him, and it's an opportunity to be more like him. So this is why I just feel like, you know, I, I prayed over it, so I know it's the right thing to do. But it's, it's another thing when, when, when your heart connects with God's heart and, you know, you feel the passion to teach, you feel the passion to motivate, to counsel, to guide people closer to God. Because my, my job is not to just pull out the, the emotional and energetic part of church, but my job is, and, and this is where it gets hard, my job is to make sure you're doing what you need to do Monday through Saturday. You know, church part is easier. It's not easy, but the church part is easier when we're together, you know, and, and celebrating God. But my my main concern is what are you doing when you leave the church? What are you doing? How are you behaving? What do you what is your thought process? Where is the importance of God? Did what I preach resonate during the week? Are these devotionals resonating uh, during your day is it is it really being beneficial and helpful and so I, I need to know that but and you know I like the hallelujah hands and the thumbs ups and the likes and everything else but I need to know it by, by 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 seeing it being produced in your life I need to know it by seeing the change uh, in your lives I'm seeing it in, mo in most people I'm not going to go into who I see it in who I don't see it in, and it's it's like um, the 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 parable of the of the uh, of the four soils that we talked about not too long ago. I'm just gonna put the word out, and I'm gonna put it out the same for everybody. Some people will see the point. Some people will just hear a good story, and so I I pray that you are one of the people that that see the point. And so I want to motivate you on today, as this is the last day of devotional for the week. I want to motivate you on today, and I'm going to read this passage from a couple of different translations. The first one is, of course, the King James Version, Hebrews chapter number 6, verse number 10. Hebrews chapter number 6, verse number 10. And it says, For God is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have showed towards his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. And I want to read uh, from the, hold on. I want to read from the English Standard Version. It makes it, it makes it a little 
easier to understand. And it says, for God is not unjust so as to overlook your work and the love that you have shown for his name in serving the saints as you still do. What it's saying is God is acknowledging what you do for him. Those 1% changes or, or increases that you're making every day, that commitment that you've made that you're going to be a little better today than you was yesterday, that commitment that you've made that you're going to be more Christ-like today than you was yesterday, that commitment that you made that you're going to work on your attitude, you know, work on your commitment to God, whatever it is that you have um, committed to, the Bible is saying that God is not overlooking it. God is not unjust so as to overlook your work. He see, He sees what you're doing. He sees your heart. So you you can't you can't say one thing to me, and you know do something else because that's not that's not benefiting you to fool me into thinking that you're changing. Now, the process of change can be a difficult one because it's, it's been engrafted in your mind for so long how to react to things. It's been engrafted in your mind so long, uh, the, the habits, the old habits that you uh, have, 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 have made over in your life. And a habit is just something that you do, you've done so repetitively that it doesn't even take a lot of mental power to do it. That's why habits are so hard to change because to change a habit is gonna take more mental power. That's why we can't get lackadaisical when it comes to serving God. And, and when we make these commitments, it's going to be a brutal challenge to many of us, a brutal challenge to many of us. But understand in those times of weakness, when the old man wants to rise back up, you know, the, the Bible declares that when, you know, when I gave my life to Christ, I became a new creature. Old things are passed away and behold, all things are becoming new those old things that are passed away, the enemy is going to use to tempt you, to draw you back into that old nasty person that you used to be, that old mean person that you used to be, that old person that did not fear God, that old person that didn't show or exhibit the love of God in your life, that old person uh, that didn't minister to the, uh, to the saints, minister to God's people, that means helping God's people. Um, you know, this, this, this time of year, uh, there's more ministering to God's people than any other time of the year. And, and like I said, and we'll talk about this some more, I want to have the same energy. That's, that's, that's one of the phrases uh, that the younger people used to use and may still use it. I don't know. But I want to have that same energy during the rest of the year. I want to have that same energy all year long to minister to the saints. There's nowhere in the Bible that says after the Christmas season, after the holiday season, that the ministering to the saints is to stop. And I think that's one place where, um, excuse me, visitors, but let me talk to the church for a minute. I think that's one place where Assembly Chapel may drop the ball, and that's ministering to the people um, through the duration of the year. So I want to change that. That's going to, some changes are coming. Uh, ideas have already been made. Uh, I've fallen through. I apologize to the, to the people at Assembly Chapel. I've fallen through on some of the ideas that came across my desk. But anyway, we're, we're going to change that because of the fact that it's the right thing to do. And I, I believe that there's blessings in giving. There's blessings in giving. It's, it's more blessed to give than to receive. And so I want to encourage you in, in this walk of life and in, in this season of changing, this season of getting better, and the, the only the best place to get better is in, is in Christ Jesus. The best place to get better is in Christ Jesus. The more you are in Christ, uh, the more instruction you'll get and the easier it'll be to do things for other people and not expect anything back. Do things for others and not expect anything back. That's that's when you know that you have the heart of God. That's when you know that when you can give and not expect anything back, you can give and not talk about it. You can give and not bring it up and throw it in somebody's face. You remember what I did for you uh, last year and how can you treat me this way? Give out of the goodness of your heart as God did when he gave his son Jesus. And, and, and you know, you make yourself available 
for people to give you back in return. They may or they may not, but you do your part. You do what you can control. You control what's controllable. And, and you know, let, let, let God be God. But he says here again, and I'm closing, God is not unjust so as to overlook your work and the love that you have shown for his name. When you're making these changes in life, you are showing that you love his name and and it's hard to love God. I don't know if it's even possible, but it's, it, it's, it's impossible to love God and not love his people. The scripture on that as well. How, how can you how can you love God who, who you have not seen and not love man who you do see? You know, that's paraphrasing. But that scripture It's impossible to love God and not love his people. It's impossible. And so by your love of God. You should love to do things for others. And God is saying that I'm not overlooking these things. I see what you're doing. I see your efforts and I'm going to bless it. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this week of devotional. Heavenly Father, as we go into the weekend, keep us mindful that you are uh, our Lord. You are our God and we are to serve you seven days a week. We are to serve you 24 hours a day. We are to serve you. But we ask that you help us in this endeavor, Lord God. Help us to continue to get better. Help us to continue to draw closer to you. And we love you. And we praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. If it be his will, I'll see you right here on Monday morning. If you're in the area, make sure you come to visit our service on Sunday, uh, 20, uh, 5453 Cascade Road, Cascade, Virginia, Assembly Chapel, right beside the little fire department. And uh, we would love to have you uh, to worship with us live. God bless you.